Hello everybody, what's going on? Jerome here, bringing you guys another Minecraft showcase, and this one is from our server, and this is called the Town of Celadon. It is, in my opinion, a little bit better than Skyrim, but uh, that's not saying much anymore, because Skyrim kind of collapsed after the leader decided to get rid of it. But regardless, if you don't know what that is, just go check my other videos. But regardless, we have this awesome new town, and uh, yeah, so here's the mayoral building. Pretty cool, it was built by the, uh, I guess I'll mention the mayor, being there's a lot of people in the town, I can't mention everyone, but Bushman97 right there, he He's the creator of the town, and uh, quite the town it is. So in the back, we have some of the town founders built out of wool structures. The only thing is to keep in mind is that this isn't a creative mode server. They built this with survival, as you can tell by the scaffolding someone had to build to surround the building, and uh, then actually place all the pieces together. So really, it's impressive that they were able to do these. It's actually kind of incredible. But once you see the immense amount of like spaces town covers and how many people are in it, you won't be as surprised. So you got a couple of town farms here, no big deal and uh, of course you got a little bit of a sheep pen this is where they get most of their uh, sheep wool from which is pretty intense over there and uh, now here are just some of the many structures. The first one over here you got is leading down to one of their many mine shafts, as well as a water sp uh, spawner, but mostly just leads down there. I'm not going to go down there because there's just so much space in their mine shafts that it's not even funny. They just dig forever. Now this one I call the gerbil house. It serves no purpose. You can just go up there, down there. It's really not much, but I think it's kind of funny and kind of cool. Uh, this right here was unfortunately griefed by um, an X mod now. Uh, we kind of had to get rid of him for, uh, well, obvious purposes, he kind of griefed people, but regardless, it was kind of a nice t uh, little tower, not that much, and don't worry guys, griefing from mods is not something you can expect on this server, it happened because of one guy, and uh, problem solved, we learned from it, we uh, de opt him, and we haven't had any incidences since, so uh, yeah. Now this one right here is really cool, once again, keep in mind, these are all built in survival, so people actually had to get all these resources, everything like that, you have this entire big structure, it's nice, like, I guess you could call it a house or whatever. I don't even know what you'd call it, but uh, it really is impressive. Look at this. They have the gardens in here. The structure behind it is just awesome. I think whoever made this is very artistic. And uh, the other thing I like is that they took advantage of the town plot system. If you notice how it has like separations between leaves, that's because it's owned by different people. So take a look in the bottom left of the screen. It says Ninja Nick. Now you're this. I'm going to go into someone else's town plot. It says H. Gel Own because that's the guy who like owns it. You go back over here, Ninja Nick, and it just gives you in insight into who actually owns it, which is pretty awesome in my opinion that they were able to do that. Uh, not many people know how to set it up, but I'm glad that they took advantage of that. So down here, apparently there's a mushroom farm, but they tell us not to open. It's in this box. Should we open it? Should we open it? Yeah, let's open it. Uh, ba -da -ba -ba. And let's see. Ah, would you look at that? He actually did have a nice little mushroom farm. All right, we'll close that back up. Nothing ever happened there. No one would know. <laughs> They're probably watching the video, though. Uh, and then once again, another entrance to their mine chef system down there. Some more farms, a big town, uh, like a big little like house like that. Uh, a couple more houses being built. This is cool, an apartment building, but uh, you'll see a lot of these, so that's kind of cool. A brick apartment building, which I find crazy that the person found the amount of clay needed to build this. It's really impressive in my opinion. And uh, we can go around here, and uh, of course, what would it be without a sugarcane farm? And uh, now even better is we have the start of a castle. The castle's not done, but I think it's pretty creative. You see it starts over there and ends all the way over here, and they're growing it up in this, like, top right here. And I also like how they took advantage of building with trees to kind of, you know, make it look more realistic and, well, not realistic, sorry, but just make it look really cool. So I think that's awesome that they did that, and uh, good job with them. I hope that they can get that to go further. Then, of course, they have the uh, diving board for the swimming pool, and uh, if you're up here, who's down there screwing everything up? <laughs> And, uh, of course, you have someone's little courtyard here, which leads down to yet another mine shaft. This right here was all self-dug by their members. That's that's not creative mode. They've actually worked together to do this. But as you can tell, each of these plots belongs to a different person. I'm not sure the exact population of the town, but I think it borders upon 30 people, which is awesome. And our uh, server, of course, has uh, Townie, which allows you to protect your town from other people from griefing and uh, lets you keep it safe. Now this one right here I had a special request to go to because apparently it's a really nice one. As you can tell it's uh, BYD97 built it as well as Person Boy 4 and Bush Darth. But uh, yeah, so let's try and check it out a little bit. I had a special request for this from people in the town so I guess it's something pretty cool. Must have some cool features to it. Personally I've never seen it but couldn't hurt to go check. So let's uh, 
right through the roof. Oh, and don't say that I'm griefing him, guys. I Obviously, I'm putting the blocks back. We do that a lot as moderators just to get around and observe, but we, we always fix whatever we break. You know what I mean? And, uh, yeah, so this is pretty cool. I guess he wanted to show us this because he's working on a above-ground garden, it would seem, something where he could put those in there, and uh, that'd be pretty cool. And, yes, yeah, so we have yet another building. This is insane as well. And, uh, I, I just, I don't even know what to say. I mean, some of these buildings are nice. And then at other times, they just build little tiny shacks like this for, uh, people that just want to join the town and not really have too much to bother with it. More so just want a place to live, as well as, like, a secure place like this, like a town that's protected. So they have little tiny, uh, houses set up like that. Uh, apparently, someone just wanted to build a tree farm on their plot, which is their right, and you can rent a plot from the uh, owner of the town and, uh, do whatever you want, such as make a golden deck. Uh, I'm not sure why. And, uh, of course, you have the remaining different buildings. You have this one right here, which doesn't really serve much of a purpose besides for uh, cauldrons and uh, brewing. And the last building of all is just a little tiny house used for sleeping and furnaces. I guess it's like a... A little bit of a sex platform. I don't know what you'd call it. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope this shows you some of the cooler sides of our server. As always, you can check out the server. Uh, you can check out the server whenever you want. I'm leaving the IP address in the uh, description. And, yeah, so that's basically it. So thank you all for watching. Really appreciate it, and have a good night.